Aijin Crater with Beautiful Blue Fire. But before we start, please support us by pressing like and subscribe buttons, also turn on the bell notification to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Located at the top of Aijin, Aijin Crater is an acidic crater lake with an altitude of up to 2,444 meters above sea level. The depth of the lake in Aijin Crater ranges between 200 meters with a whole area reaching 5,466 hectares. Aijin Crater Lake is also known as the largest acid water lake in the world. Aijin National Park located in the area of Bondawoso Regency and Banyuwangi Regency, East Java. Aijin Crater has a blue fire that can be found in the early hours of 2.00 to 5.00. The site of blue fire can only be found in two places in the world, blue fire only located in Aijin Crater and Dao Volcano. Tourists can enjoy landscape blue fire in Aijin, along the track to top, we can watch the sulfur mining, the miners carrying sulfur chunks with trolley and took baskets. They can carry a load of 80 to 100 kg manually. The miners will take sulfur from the crater lip, bring to the top and move to be brought down to the shelter. To reach Aijin Crater, tourists can start tracking from Paltuting with approximately distance 3 km, Paltuting is rest point and entrance to Aijin Crater. There are a forest protection and conservation center of Perhutani. In this place you can get information about Aijin Crater, homestay facilities in Paltuting areas until save or not to entrance the Aijin Crater. In Paltuting provided camping ground for who want to set up a tent. How to go Aijin Crater? The journey can get through two line, from Bondawoso Regency and Banyuwangi Regency. But as a suggestion from us, you should better from Banyuwangi because it's a small access to Paltuting, Banyuwangi Regency has advantages from Bondawoso because tourists can reach Banyuwangi using the ferry from Bali, Banyuwangi has Blimingsari Airport and train station. The path that must be passed from Banyuwangi to Aijin is Banyuwangi, Lysen, Jambu, Paltuting, Aijin Crater Travel Tips to Aijin Crater Bring a thick jacket and head cover because temperature on top of Aijin reaches 5 until 2 degrees Celsius. Make tracks to the top with a fit body condition and do enough preparation because you are hunting at night. Don't forget to bring a mask or nose cover because to get blue fire you will pass caldera, and mask use prevents sulfur smoke. Bring raincoats while climbing in the rainy season. To go Aijin Crater during rain season, it's recommended to use off-road vehicles especially type Jeep double axle because road condition from Jambu to Paltuting have massive road condition. Heading to Aijin Crater is a challenging and tiring journey. It is not easy to reach one of the best destinations in Indonesia. The walking route uphill for more than 3 kilometers we had to pass in about 3 hours. But once we got to the top, we really got something beautiful and rare. Its vast verdant crater lake is the largest in the world. Another unique phenomenon is the appearance of the blue fire. Aijin Crater Tourism Park is located on the border of Bondawoso and Banyuwangi Regencies in East Java. Its position is surrounded by three large mountains, namely Rong, Marantai, and Merapi. Aijin Crater itself is at the top of Mount Aijin as high as 2,368 meters above sea level. The crater is a sulfur lake covering an area of almost 5.5 hectares with a degree of acidity that is close to zero. With these acidic conditions, the water in the crater can scald the skin. Regarding the danger, that is the uniqueness of the geotourism character of Aijin. Previously, of course, we had prepared information about Aijin so we were very careful when traveling and when we arrived in an area dominated by foreign tourists from various continents, especially European countries. Some of the ones we met had visited more than once. While this is our first trip, the scenery on Mount Aijin is very colorful. That was our impression when we arrived at the top. Tosca Green Crater Steep arid slopes with a mixture of black soil, white chalk, and a yellow tinge of sulfur. Of course, 
The fresh color gradations of the green forests that fortify Aijin with white sulfur smoke adorn the crater surface. On the edge of the trail on the south side of the crater, there are many pieces of dry wood that have died and form various fantasies. The forest near the crater rim is mostly surrounded by dry trees that died from sulfur fumes from the last eruption in 1993. Surprisingly, the main trunk of the trees is still standing and gives a contrasting color effect to the green of the shrubs that cover the ground below. Imagine entering a fairy tale land full of imagination. Aijin has a lot more than what we imagined before coming. So, please make your own list to see the attractions, what to see, in Aijin that will provide various inspirations for the harmony of colors and variations of shapes created by nature. Mount Aijin Crater, or commonly shortened to Aijin Crater, is one of the active volcanoes in East Java. Aijin Crater is located at the top of Mount Aijin is a series of volcanoes in East Java such as Bromo, Semeru, and Merapi. Mount Aijin is located in the Aijin Crater Tourism Area and the Aijin Tourism Park Nature Reserve, precisely in Lysan District, Banyuwangi Regency and Klobang District, Bondowoso Regency. This is one of the charms of the charming natural beauty of Indonesia. You will be presented with extraordinary natural charm and the uniqueness of traditional sulfur miners. The arena of the eruption of Aijin Crater is filled with water so that a very beautiful and amazing crater lake is formed. In the morning, when the sun hides behind the mountain but you can still enjoy its beauty, it is achieved by a sense of peace. Aijin Crater is a green Tosca lake which is located at an altitude of 2,368 meters above sea level. The crater walled caldera as high as 300-500 m, the area is about 5,466 hectares. Uniquely, this crater is located in the middle of the largest caldera on the island of Java. The size of the caldera is about 20 kilometers. The size of the crater itself is about 960 meters x 600 meters. The crater is located at a depth of more than 300 meters below the caldera wall. The crater water is quite calm and bluish green. The view there is so amazing in the morning. The crater water, which has a volume of about 200 million cubic meters with a heat reaching 200 degrees Celsius, emits a golden green sheen when the sun shines from behind Mount Merapi, the twin sister of Mount Aijin. This is a beautiful double view. Aijin Crater is also the largest sulfur mining site in East Java which still uses the traditional method. In the southeast of the lake there is a Salfatara field which is the wall of the Aijin Crater Lake and in the west there is the Aijin Crater Dam which is upstream from the Banyupate River. The Salfatara field of Mount Aijin Crater which always releases volcanic gas with a high sulfur concentration and sometimes pungent gas smell. What's interesting is that these sulfur miners are accustomed to without masks going down to the bottom of the crater. An extraordinary sight because they perform daily death-defying jobs to make ends meet. The Enchantment of Aijin Crater The best time to see the beauty of Aijin is in the morning. Aijin Crater from the top of Mount Aijin looks very beautiful. This crater is a large bluish-green lake with a very mesmerizing fog and sulfur smoke. In addition, the cold air with a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, can even reach a temperature of 2 degrees Celsius, this will obviously add to its own sensation for you. You can also find various plants that only exist in the highlands, such as Edelweiss flowers and mountain cypress. Tourists who go on recreation to Aijin Crater can also see sulfur or sulfur miners. The miners climbed a steep mountain ridge, then descended the crater's slopes towards sulfur walls which they would break using simple tools. The lumps of greenish-yellow sulfur were transported using a basket made of bamboo. Tourists who climb to Aijin Crater will pass by the miners who in a day can go back and forth up and down the Aijin Crater three times. One pickle basket filled with sulfur weighs between 85 to 120 kilograms, an astonishing number for the weight carried one kilometer to the right of the reservoir. Travel to Aijin Crater The sightseeing trip to Aijin Crater is quite an impressive journey. 
When departing from Bondawoso City, travelers can see the beauty of coffee plantations located on the slopes of Mount Aijin Crater. The coffee plantations here produce superior coffee of export quality. Not only that, before reaching Aijin Crater, the vehicle can be parked for a while to witness the beauty of Benyupahit Waterfall. It is named Benyupahit because the source of the water comes from Aijin Crater which contains sulfur, so the water tastes bitter, and the color is between clear and thick green. To reach the Aijin Crater Recreation Area, Travelers can go to Bondawoso City by using public transportation, buses and city transportation, or private vehicles. From the north, Sichibondo Regency, travelers can go to Sempal District, Bondawoso, with a travel time of about 2.5 to 3 hours, passing a smooth paved road as far as plus 90 kilometers. From Sempal Village, travelers can rent public transportation or motorcycle taxis to Paltuting Post which is about 15 kilometers from Sempal Village. If the journey starts from the south, Banyuwangi Regency, travelers will take about 30 minutes, plus 15 kilometers, to reach Lysen District, Banyuwangi, and then continue the journey to Paltuting Post for 18 kilometers. From Lysen District to Paltuting Post, tourists are advised to use, rent, a double jeep type vehicle axle because the contours of the road are quite steep and are often damaged due to rain and are passed by trucks carrying sulfur every day.